What's up guys, this is uh, Neil's channel, and today we are going to do something a little different on the channel, but don't worry, we're still going to do it. WWE reviews, some trick shot videos, WWE moves on the trampoline, but it's updated AEW figures. Woo, let's go. So, the way that this is going to work, we're going to review every figure, but every new figure, I'm going to reach in. Pull a fi uh, AEW figure out. We're gonna review them, and until we get to the last one, we're just gonna, you know, just go over them. There we go. And we got some of their accessories lined up here, but we'll show you that when we get to the figures. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes. All right. This one. I want to grab this. Cut. Nice. We have, okay, first one to start. We have. We have the Pat. Uh, he has gray and black on. Let's take a look at that. Take a good look at Ooh. that. Gotta see it. And we're also gonna be rating them one through ten, and whichever one has the highest ranking, out of our opinion, will be in out of my AW collection. The gray AW. So. Man, this is great. Uh, he's got uh, came with. The replacement head here. Guys, take a look at that. Got the hair down in front. Kind of looks similar to the uh, the Brood Boys, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy has the hair. Yeah, open. yeah. Like and a little bit of uh, Drew McIntyre, maybe. Yep. All right, and he also came with the chair here. Pack. <gasps> anyway, you guys, one more look at Pack. I'm gonna let Neil take it over. And uh, we'll pick out another one for you guys. Definitely a great fig. I'm going to give Pack a rating just because of the face scan. But the more and more I look at him, and especially when you get him and you see him in person, uh, you know, it's been growing on me. I'm going to give Pack, uh, uh, I'm going to go with about a 7.5 to an 8 for Pack. I believe, I mean, that's just, he's just a cool, cool fig. Um, I'm gonna rate it an eight. I'm gonna rate it an eight. eight. Okay. So of course Pat's so far in first, so we're just gonna put him here and then we're gonna put the extra accessories over here just behind me. Okay. Um, do you have them? Oh, good. Yeah. Just yep. gonna put him over here. While okay. Neil gets ready, just so you guys know, hey. This is Neil's dad. I'm here to help in this. I'm I've been looking forward to it. So let's get this going. Just wanted to say, hey, I'm the guy over here. He helps the videos better. He helps make the video better. <laughs> well, we try. We try. We try. So okay. now I'm just going to reach around again. Okay. Reach Coming back up again. Who we got? Reach around. Reach around. <laughs> okay. Reach around. So I'm just going to reach around. I'm just going to take some over there. I'm just going to take one. Okay. Okay. Oh, Ooh. we have the big guy. I think the biggest guy that I have. Yeah, if I believe you are. Right. Yeah, by side, right. not, not feet, but <laughs> we have Luchasaurus from the Ringside Exclusive. Rings. This is the regular one. Which, okay, in my opinion, the regular and the Chase version are basically the same thing, except Jungle Boy is just carrying him, and Luchasaurus is carrying him another one. So I basically have the Chase and the regular. So why is the point of buying both? Well, that's great. Yeah. I like the, um, I kind of like the white kind of better than the, um, kind of bluish black on the Unravel 5. Mm hmm Um, so I have a question. Which one do you like better? The Stitcher Source or the Unravel 5? Ah, uh, yeah. Um. I'm going with that one. I'm going to go, I've seen the Unrivaled 5, and it does look good. But guys, let me tell you what, these ringside exclusives here that's in white, uh, they really they really pop, you know, with his tattoos especially, which they did a great job on that. Uh, good artwork and everything. Good, solid fig. I'm going to give Luchasaurus, in my opinion, this is going to be a good nine for me. Without a, without a doubt, yes. This guy looks amazing. Looks amazing. To be honest and to actually, like, <clears throat> I've played with this figure um, a lot of times. I do like how... I don't know if a lot of people care about this, but I like how he took the time 
to match his head with the braid right here. I kind of oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm going to give, yeah. believe it or not, a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That's what I'm talking I like about. This pretty sweet there. It actually feels pretty good in here, actually. So, right. oh yeah, we're also going to recommend if you buy it or not buy it. I recommend you get this awesome figure, and I also recommend you get Pat. Pretty good figure. From Ringside Exclusives. Go check out Ringside. They're awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, so who's in first? Who's in second? I think Luchasaurus is better than Pac, so I'm going to put him in first. He is in first place with myself as well. First place? First because place. Because he has a higher rating than Pac. So, so far, Luchasaurus in first, Pac in second. There we go. Pat. All right. He's digging in. Digging in there. We got. Oh, wow. Right after um, Luchasaurus, we have. Jungle Boy! Jungle Boy! Let's take a look at Jungle Boy coming up, shall we? Um, here he is, guys. Set him up. Check that out. Slowly that turn him awesome around. Figure. Check that I out. I say I do like the head scan better than D5. It's like more like a... This is, yeah, more gnarly of a face there. Got the same, got the matching attire, of course. Brown boots. All around a great figure. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, uh, um, for these guys, I mean, when we got them, um, they were, of course, well packaged. You know, we had like the box in there. We didn't bring that in. Huge box. Huge box, you know, and everything. But between, like, of course, the, the Series 5 and these, I still got to go with these. Even with Jungle Boy, I do like the scan on this a whole lot better. Uh, just an all-around great fig. Would I go out and buy it, or would I recommend you go buy it? Yes. Even if you only get the one from Series 5, that's fine. But this one here, I mean, wow. of course, you're going to get both of them whenever you purchase. But, man, what great figs these are. I mean, they look Amazing. good. They feel good. Uh, so I'm going to give Jungle Boy, I'm going to give him a 9. I'm going to give him a solid 9 again. Okay, and, uh, okay. Me, I'm right? also going to give him a nine, which means he tops Pat, but which source is still in first place. Okay. And the ranking is in third place. We have Pat. Second place, Jungle Boy. First, Luchasaurus. Is that your order so far? So far, that's mine as well. Okay. Yes, I can deal with that. Let's move them all back to the middle. Okay. okay. Boom. <gasps> Ooh. We got Big Feet. We got Bigfoot. <sighs> Yes, we got, we we got foot. Hangman Adam Page, Bigfoot. This is the Unravel 2. Yeah, series, series 2 there. And he also came, I uh, believe, there with, uh, he's got his rope, I believe, there. He has a rope and he Let's came take a look. Look at that face. <coughs> got the bandana right there. When we first got this in the mail, I was like, take a closer look there. Dude, we have a hangman out of page nine from the art collection. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that this was definitely something everybody was pretty much saying that they were worried about. Uh, of course, you know the size of the boots and everything. Uh, they are a little big on him. Yeah. I'm going to admit. Uh, I also got that same scarf design. There, you guys can check that out on the left knee pad there. The same as this here. And, uh, of course, here, <clears throat> get it closer so you guys can check it out here. There's the vest that it came with. Kind of see it matches there. Looks, looks really good. And, uh, like I said, you know, he came with that. And then he also came with this accessory, which is the rope <clears throat> that he has. So you guys can see it there. Nice little addition there to the Hangman Adam page. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give this fig, um, besides, you know, the deal with the large feed and everything, all in all, uh, the rest of this figure uh, is going to get a good solid eight from me. Because um, other than these being a little large, you know, I know they have corrected these and everything. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so I'm... I would say yes, still go out and buy this fig, especially because this face scan, 
I don't believe is any on is it's not on the other one. It's changed up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's right? like it's kind of like a little I, different. To be honest, like that head scan looks a little bit more like in the other one because it's just like right. A, there he is. Okay. Um, There's my take on Hangman Adam. Page. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Hangman a uh, seven and a half out of ten. So um, it's pretty close. We're it's pretty close. I, I like the figure. Um, just your, like when you actually see the the, the feet mm. in person, mm -hmm. they kind of look a little bit bigger in person than it is on camera. But awesome figure. Um, I like the um, bandana around his neck and mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so that means he is coming in last. I'm fine with that. So he would be spot what? Uh, it's going to be number, he's fourth. in fourth place. All right. I've heard worse. Yeah. Heard worse. All right. Moving along. Heard what do you got going on? Ooh. Okay. 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 We have the shirt. No shirt. Okay. No problem. Oh, that one did not do it. That one didn't do that. Yeah. So, we put an elbow pad on this guy. We, oh, we have this one. the Unreliable oh, Series 1, Cody Rhodes. Oh, yes. Without further ado, there. Mr. Rhodes himself. Part of the uh, owners there, AEW there. He's got a part in it. Uh, as I have one. The right. first AEW figure oh. made, in, in fact. Uh, Check that out. Zoom in there. At the sledgehammer. This one, um, <clears throat> this one here was one of the first figs Neil actually yes. got ever uh, in his collection. There got the gold. That I guess that would be royal blue. There, you'll love those boots though, right? Check that out. And uh, of course, you know, it has the one tattoo there on his left chest. You know, this was before the updated one on the neck there, but. Uh, we will get to that one shortly, but all around, uh, I would say yes. Uh, I know they've got the one B's now in these where they've corrected the skin tone. Uh, this is one of the original ones, you know, that first came out with Cody, and uh, we love it still. Uh, I'm going to give this figure a good solid seven, seven and a half, just because you know it's it, it is series one. It's still a great figure. Uh, I even may go up to seven and a half. But if you see it out, go get it. Yes. These things, man, you can never have too many Cody's. And might I mention the big fat lip there? Oh uh, yeah, a lot of people were. I've heard a lot of people are complaining about the head scan. It's supposed to be a busted lip, guys. Yep, yeah, a busted lip. So that's what was going on there. Some of you may know that. Anyway, there you go, Neil. Off um, you. I'm gonna actually give this an eight and a half out of ten. Okay. So that means. Is he going up? He's going in fourth place. Over. So, okay. we right. have Hangman in, in fifth place, Cody in fourth. Okay. Um, Pack in third, mm -hmm. Jungle Boy in second, Luchasaurus is still first place. So, yeah. I think we are. Uh, you want to go ahead and just move on to this one just so we can show them the comparison, kind of what we were talking about just a minute ago? Because yeah. it does. It uh, This overcame. This. This has a lot of change compared to the other one that we just showed. So we, oh, this is the one that you need to get. This <laughs> is the ringside source of TNT <clears throat> Championship exclusive. Yes, there it is, American Nightmare. Give it this one. right there, huh? Oh yes, right back here. Gosh, um, let's see if I can zoom in real quick. If you guys can tell, it, it is the uh, thing. There we go. But we put a light in it, which yeah. looks even more sicker. I mean, sick. <laughs> New word. That is awesome, right, guys? Y'all check that out. That's the double or nothing entrance stage that was with this, another Ringside exclusive. Shout out to Ringside. Go get this fix. Great, 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 great. And go check out Ringside Collectibles. Yes, and look guys, this is what we're going to show you. Let me zoom back out here. Get us back in here fully. Alright, now, he came with this cool shirt here. Awesome shirt. Purple, silver, attire. And look guys. They actually added the neck tattoo. Here is the neck tattoo we was telling you about that it's updated with. Everybody got that there. 
And uh, I must admit, Mr. Rhodes came with some pretty cool accessories too, Neil. Yep, we uh, have two one. other interchangeable hands. Uh, heads? Heads. Let's take a closer look at that. We got one that's uh, a little excited there with the laughing Cody Rhodes. <laughs> that one. And a little bit uh, more serious there. <laughs> Got the raised eyebrow or something going on there. Good looking. They all three look good. All three heads look very good. And then we have there you go. Okay. the TNT World Championship. There it is. This is the red. This is when they were doing it there in red. Man, a great looking belt. Some people say uh, they're a little large on the size, you know. But I, I, don't, like I don't either. And really, once you see it, like I'm gonna put this on Cody here, and we'll take a look. A good size. It looks a good. Size. It, it does. I mean, it looks very accommodating. There he is. There, the American Nightmare with the belt. Entrance stage. Uh, the T. Pop up flames. Yes, pop up pyro flames over there. I'm gonna give this fig a solid ten, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you heard it here. I'm gonna give it a ten. This is by far. This is one. Of, this is one of the coolest figures, the coolest uh, accessories uh, presented to you there with the entrance stage. Go get this fig, guys. If they're still available, go get it. Uh, also, too, the red TNT belt, which is not red anymore. So maybe worth something. I think it's white now. White, yeah, with mirror. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a ten as well. I'm actually. I'm gonna push the limit. I'm gonna go 11 out of 10. Yeah. Wow, he really likes it. He likes it. So that means, uh, obviously, that he's in front of Luchasaurus. Sorry, Luchasaurus, you've been talking about. Gonna be in first place there? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay, so from now I'm just gonna pick one. Um, let's go ahead and do. Let's do a set of the Unbox. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the white attire, I think this was based off Elvis Presley, I have no idea. That's what we had heard, But it's yeah. the Unrivaled One set. Unrivaled One there of the Young Bucks. We got Matt and Nick here. Show you there. Also, Series One. Yep. Series One. Let's take a closer look there. Got the red bandana there. Nick. Looks good, man. Uh, of course, you know, this this does kind of remind you of Elvis. You know, maybe their dad or themselves, you know, are big fans. But all around, these are pretty good figures. I do like the head scan of Matt here. A little better than the other one um, of uh, Series 3, I believe. Yes. Series 3. That's good. Unrivaled. Unrivaled. So there's the Young Bucks. And these guys actually... Um, they came with some coats as well, too. Uh, I believe, did they or did they not? I can't remember. I can't remember. We don't have them here. I think they're in the other room. Anyway, uh, we'll get to that at some other point. We do have something else to show you. But as far as these go, um, I would say yes. Go out and buy these. They're good and solid. They have a good feel to them. Uh, this attire, really, though, is super cool. I like it. I'm going to give this a good nine for these. For the young bucks, I'm going to go nine. Yes. So that means Neil? it's probably five of ten and four of ten, and then you combine them Something like that. Yeah, I'm good um, with that. I'm going to give Matt a seven, and I'm going to give Nick um, probably an eight. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so that means Matt Jackson is going to top... Hack. Oh, okay. And Nick taking over over there. All right. Is going to top Matt. Gotcha. Sweet. So, update. Hangman Adam Page is in seventh. All right. Cody Rhodes is in sixth. Hack is in fifth. Nick is in fourth. Wait, no, this is probably top nine. Hangman in ninth. Cody in uh, eighth. Pack in seventh. Matt. In sixth, Nick in fifth, Jungle Boy. Okay, you know what? 
And last place is Sandman, first place is Cody. There you go. Yeah. Want like to show them these again real quick since we just did there was there were some big changes with these too. Oh, just yeah. like there. A lot going on there. There you go. Okay. Next up we have the Young Rob three Young Bucks. Three. Just what? just for um, you know, in my opinion, I like the Unraveled three better than the one. Look at that. I like the tassels on Yes. Them. Yes. And they came with this really hard jacket to get off. There it is, man. Yeah, man, I'm gonna tell you. Why do they Jazz wears <laughs> make some <laughs> of let's take a close one last look there. We'll show you up close there, the young bucks. I Super mean, kick do, parties with themselves. Matt's head scan, I do like the one better. So yeah. And where's those jackets? Let's kind of show them there. The yes, man. I, so I promise. That seems like these things were painted on. Let me tell you. Exactly. Let's take a look. There's the jackets, which go well. I mean, don't even don't get us wrong. Man, they were just super hard to get off, man. It took us at least but, ten yeah. minutes to get them off. At least. At just least. put the other side open like right there. There you go, guys. Got those young bucks. Elite on the back there. Looks good. All right. Um, definitely. This is a must. Uh, with the Young Bucks, you know, they oh, always yeah. got something cool to wear. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the attires, you know, are top notch. The tassels, mm -hmm. everything. Jazzwares nailed it with these, I think, too, as far as that goes. Uh, with these guys, I'm going to give them a good solid nine on here. Good job, guys. Um, that's just my take on them with the jackets and everything can't go wrong young bucks um i'm going to give matt probably an eight and i'm going to give nick probably eight and a half mm. so that means nick is in front of nick oh in front of nick okay all right nick all is right. in front of nick yeah and matt is actually <gasps> In front of Jungle Boy. Look out. Right, it's changing up a little bit, the stuff over there, huh? Updated. Hangman is in 10th. Okay. Cody is in 9th. 9th. Matt is in 8th. Okay. Matt Jackson Unraveled 1 <gasps> is in 6th. 6th place. Okay. Nick Jackson from Unraveled 1 yep. is 5th. Unraveled 3, Nick, is in 4th. I mean 5th. Jungle Boy <laughs> is fourth. Oh Matt Jackson on round three, third. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. You almost said Drew McIntyre. <laughs> yeah, I almost said Drew McIntyre. Okay. Um, We'd like Drew to come on. Luchasaurus in second, okay. and Cody Rhodes in first. Oh, okay. Oh, coaster. All right. Oh, coaster man, getting some recognition. Let's. Go with, I don't know if it's You want to reach up in there or what? Hmm. So what are we going to look at? Oh, it's Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to get, I'm going to say him first. Okay, I'm actually probably going to do him first. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do him. One second, guys. I'm getting something together over here. Right now is a good time to click that subscribe button, guys. And also go check out Ringside. They're amazing. Also, check out Mattel, Jazzwares, all of them. Um, subscribe to Ringside's Absolutely. YouTube channel. So, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay. We have up next. I love this figure. Orange Cassidy. There he is. Man himself. The king of sloth style. There he is. Man, what a great fig this is. Um, I, I mean, whenever we first got him in, I immediately said to Neil, uh, this guy is something else. Uh, he is, uh, he's just, he's got the limberness here, but at the same time, he feels good and sturdy. Uh, got the hands. Go into the pockets. Let's take a close look. Check him out. He comes with the glasses. Um, we seem to misplace the glasses at the moment. But he's got the matching jean jacket there. Man, what a great fig. Uh, everybody knows 
I'm going to say go get this fig, Orange Cassidy. Did a great job on the face scan of that guy, too. And, uh, you know, is what it is. I tell you what, there's nothing like this guy. I love watching him. Um, I'm going to give this a good solid 10. 10? Yes, uh, Orange Cassidy, without a doubt. King of Slot Style. Neil? Yeah. I'm giving him a 9.5. Boom. So that means he's tops. Luchasaurus. Mmm. So Orange Cassidy's in second place. So. Okay. All right, let's do. Uh, known as the greatest heel probably <laughs> in wrestling history, uh, MJF. MJF. That's well. Guys, it's my... so funny. Anytime I wake up on the weekends or like on a school morning. Dad is either setting him up with a microphone or he's either sitting in a chair with someone just completely out of the blue. It's so funny. Never um, know what he may be doing or who he's interviewing as we get up on the weekends. Never know what MJF is up to. Mm -hmm. Got it? Got yeah, it. definitely Catch. the number one heel probably in the world right now. So He definitely is a good bad guy. I'm going to raise him up for you guys to take a look at. Ladies and gentlemen, MJF. Look at that pump, pump. Anyway, comes with the AEW microphone. First one that I know that has come with that. Got the scarf there. MJF, good at running the mouth. His mouth gets him in a lot of trouble too. But uh, at the same time, man, you always got to have a bad guy. Got to have a good heel, whatever. This guy's it, buddy. Uh, if you don't believe me, he'll tell you. You're looking at pump, huh? huh? He's on like 20 years old. 20 something years old. I'm going to give it. A good solid nine for me on MJF. I think it's a good head scan. It's good attire. Got the mic, the scarf. What more do you want from the guy, right? He ain't gonna give you nothing else. Probably. I mean, you know, look at that smirk. He doesn't give you anything. Yeah, see, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Uh, anyway, go out and buy the fig. Yes, if you see it, absolutely, go get it. Get the fig. Nine for me. He also has like a pink chase figure. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. forgot to mention. What's that? The, this scar. It's actually made of cotton. It is. It's. I mean, that's a real scarf material that they do with that. They didn't hold nothing back. So, absolutely. Good point, son. Um, I'm going to give it a nine and a half. Ooh. So, that means... He's already moved up. He's in three. He's in third place. So, that means he also chopped each of sword. I just said he just chopped with the source. I meant to say top. <laughs> top? Uh, he did an idiot if he went over there and tried to chop him. I'm, I'm not surprised if he did actually chop him. Right. <laughs> There's okay. a belt though if you decide. Okay. okay. Um, next up, the champion, mm. Chris Jericho. Jericho. Unrivaled one. Okay. Unrivaled one. Yes, sir. The man Can you himself. You start with it. Oh yeah, Jericho. Oh. <laughs> It's so cool. Put the scarf down in there. Got Another it. hard jacket. Mm-hmm. Hard jacket to get off. We'll just put it around the shoulders for right now. Kind of give you guys an example. And Man. Mm -hmm. a hat. Oh, and the hat. That's right. Yeah. How could you forget that? I'm telling you, how could I forget that? I don't know. There he is. Le Champion. Le Champion. Man, check that scarf out. Kind of glitters there. The more you turn it. Uh, <coughs> That came, like Neil said, had the jacket there. Fozzie Frontman himself. He has become it. Cool scarf, you know, Jericho and the hat. Got the hat. It's removable. Everybody knows he loves the scarves and uh, everything. But, hey, let's get down to it. The figure itself, I think, was very, very cool. Uh, the attire and everything, I really like it. They nailed the tattoo work on him. I love the face. Love the face scan there. Jericho. Really grimacing. So anyway, I'm going to give Jericho uh, for this one here. I mean, the Series 1 for this one, the color of it, it's not... It, it, it does look really good, as you guys can tell. It's not that bad. It looks really good. Uh, I love it. Uh, I would say go out and get this fig. For me, 
I think Jericho is going to get a good eight and a half. Now nah, let's go ahead and go nine. I'm going to go a good solid nine. I mean, just super cool fig. Got the cool accessories. Um, Le Champion, of course, you know, there's, there's different versions of him out there uh, with the bubbly and all of that, with, with like the belt. This one's super cool, too. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Okay, eight and a half out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> now that look at this more, I, I should actually judge this a nine. I do actually like this. You gonna go nine? Yes. Sunny, he's in fourth place. He he needs to be by his buddy over there, MJF. I think. But if they if you don't get him too close, they might get into. He is. Oh, he is. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it over there. So. Neil's got him lined up over there. If you guys I, can see, yeah. Boom. Bang bang. All right. Okay. Bop bang. Bitty boo. Let's do, I guess, the last tag team. Oh, yeah. Well, it used to be a tag team. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. The they movie. used to, yeah. Scorpio Sky, Frankie Gazzari, and Unravel 5. Amazing figure. Oh, probably. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. These two guys, man, uh, there's kind of an odd pairing as far as they were i mean i mean great team don't get me wrong yeah they made it because you know why they came with the, the tag. AEW tag that's right well, everyone wanted thing. these oh well, because the frankie kazarian and scorpio sky but they also wanted them just because of the tag time triumph, triumph, triumph. <laughs> this guy here uh has got some cool attire scorpio sky M reminds me of the suzuki <laughs> logo a little bit there Scorpio Sky, sweating a little bit there, gleaming, looks good, great looking fig. Next we got Frankie Kazarian, I think they nailed the face scan for this guy, he looks fantastic, um, uh, he is um, got almost a grimacing looking face there, he's looking mad, love the attire, looks good, down to the boots, Frankie, and like we said, it came with the AEW tag belts. The tag belts, right there, man. This is what I like to call these figures. They're awesome, crazy, awesome. And this is um, this is Frankie's here. He came with a, his jacket, the accessories here. Frankie, check that out. Looks super cool, huh? This one, by far, I believe, was, uh, was the hardest to get off of any fig that we own here. Uh, this one was almost painted on Frankie. Uh, I'm glad I didn't hurt the fig in trying to get this off, but we yeah, got it. Like tweezers or something. But we got it. Uh, take a closer look. This is the worst town something I've ever been in. <laughs> so anyway, this, this is his. Scorpio Skies, looking super cool. Got the sleeveless with the hoodie. This one was this one wasn't as hard to get off as Frankie's, but it was uh, kind of. But why got, can't you oh. just put the line right there on the other side? No, right? They should have. Um, yes, by all means, go out and get these two. These oh, yeah. are great. Be uh, careful with the jackets. Solid. Yes, be careful trying to take the jackets off of these things. Yeah. I almost had to go get the scissors and, ch -ch -ch -ch, yeah. but no. Uh, yes, especially for these. You know, you get the tag team belts. I'm going to give these figs, Neil, a good nine. nine? Good nine. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely going to go nine and a half. Okay. So this means we're going to go nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine Okay, sounds good to me. So All right, and, over there. Bit and we're going to show you guys after we get done and everything, we'll show you the order. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have that much left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Wait. No. Yeah. Seven. Two. One, two, three. Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, next. Let's go with this one. Let's get a Darby in. Ooh. Let's get a Darby. All right, I'm going to have to. 
I'm going to take control here. We're not going anywhere. Just going to move it around here. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Dad had to get off that floor. All right, here we go. So we have the Unrivaled 3, Ooh. Darby Allen. Check this out, guys. This is one of Neil's favorite guys here, as is mine. This is his first fig that he got. Darby, of talking Darby. about him, it's of Darby. Well, no, 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 right. But this one here, this is very cool. Looks good down to his, uh, his combat boots looking there. Looks very good. Good overall fit. Got the necklace. Great artwork on the face. Um, I'm going to give this, if you can find him, yes, go out and get him. I'm going to give this fig a 10. A 10? A 10. And uh, do you have any accessories that we can show oh, everybody okay. with? <clears throat> All right, I'll let you hold him. This is his. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to give him a 10, so that means. Okay. He is Going down friend. there. Here is uh, Orange Cassidy. Uh, Orange Cassidy down there? That's his butt, huh? And then uh, here's the jacket that he came with. Another cool piece that he came with. This is the skateboard he came with. Um, so super cool fig, man. One of the hottest guys in AEW right now, without a doubt. Darby Allen, definitely go get go get this fig. When you say now? Oh yeah. Definitely. All right. Definitely. Okay. Take you guys around. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, we'll give you guys more in-depth reviews on everything. All right, now. Go to 25. All right. Who we got coming up over there, man? We have the on-rival two. Yeah! Check that out. What do you think about that? Comes with the AEW belt and Mox. And Mox. Um, definitely like this better. This is probably like everyone's favorite AEW figure. I like this better than the five. Um, he comes with like camo. Mm hmm. The blue's kind of taking over. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Oh. Let's move it around. Can we do that? Yeah. About there that? we go. Okay. Comes with camo and the head scan. He has a, like, a grimacing face. Now, yeah, if and anybody has, has that, yeah, look at that snarl. He has you? a scar. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? I'm going to go with you on that, too, without a doubt. Easy, easy determination there. Definitely the, the John Moxley. Guys, go out and get it. Great fig, without a doubt. Alrighty. Just a little bit of mud here. This is what I do over here. Getting them all together. Getting them all together. Like said, and we're going to go down the line there. As soon as we get done reviewing these things, and show you guys exactly the order in which we placed them. See what you guys think. Comment down below. Um, Comment, you have a disagree, different... agree, or disgrace. <laughs> our order's absurd, but it's probably not because we have awesome AEW figures because Jazzwares made them awesome. Subscribe to Jazzwares. Go check them out. That's right. Okay, All so. Right. Let's do this one next. Okay. Uh, one of my we only have four left after this one, guys. All we right. have Penta El Zero. Slash Pentagon Jr. Yes. Unrivaled 2. Um, oh my gosh. Awesome figure, dude. Yes. Which Get X? It. Yes, without a doubt, go buy this fig if you can find it. I'm watching you. <laughs> if you don't buy it, I might come to your house and steal it. Which actually, we should point out, we don't have who we need to go with it, but actually, we should point out that is uh, one half of the new tag team champions. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, buddy. Um, so he has the belt now. And we have like both hands, so he has like the mic holding hand. Mm -hmm. He has um, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> But, man, look at the eyes. I mean, they nailed the eyes on the guy. The tongue. I mean, the tats. I told Neil when we first got this figure, I said, I've never felt anything like it. He has a unique feel to his attire. Um, I've never seen anything quite like it. They definitely nailed this. Um, I'm going to give it a solid 10. 
Solid 10 without a doubt. There's, I'm going to give it a 9.5. It's and too half. cool. I'm going to give it a 9.5. 9.5, 10 here. Put him in line. All right. Oh, that means he talks. Okay. Let's zoom in on that down there. Check that out, guys. The stage area. The belt right there. Let you guys see a little bit down there. AEW setup style. Okay. Okay. Four left. All right. Next one. Who are we going with? We have the unmatched Darby Allen. I can go ahead and say I like this better than the unrivaled one. Uh, but yeah, awesome figure. Check that out, guys. He's got the new paint. Comes with there. He just wrestled CM Punk the other night on AEW uh, on the pay per view. I'm going to tell you what, gave it a good go at it, too, man. Those guys had a great match. Good camaraderie at the end of the match, too. Um, CM Punk showed appreciation for him. Darby shook his hand as well, too, which we can't wait on the CM Punk figure. That's going to be great. Be a good, be a good one by Jazzware. But, yes, I'm going to give this a good solid 10 for me. But, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to add that in there. He also comes with the Black TNT Championship. And he comes with just a black um, jacket. Yes. Check that out right there, guys. The new Darby Allen skateboard, Relentless. There. See that there? The head. Man, just the paint, everything. But yes, the belt. Let me see that belt real quick, too. Real quick, if you don't mind, sir, if you still have it available. He came with this. And, of course, you know, Darby is a... Uh, sorry. Is a smaller guy. But I'm going to tell you what. He looks really good with it on. Um... The new face of TNT, as they say. But, yeah, here it is, guys. Here it is. Sorry about that. We got it going, though. But, man, look at these belts that these guys are putting out. These things are great, man. They look really good. Looks good on Darby, too. Anyway, solid 10 for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, definitely a uh, 10 and a half out of 10. <laughs> He's going up to the front of the line there, huh? Gonna yeah, try to get over there. There we go. John Moxley. Whoa! Top the Mox. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, so I, I gave all a little away. Spoiler is Kenny Omega's guys. I think we ought to all hold them up. All hold them up. All right. Let's 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 get them all up, and uh, you can actually stand them in the ring. We'll go down. We'll zoom to the ring, and you can kind of explain them there. That'll be kind of cool. Huh? He is the guy, man, uh, with Kenny there. Kenny and, um, you know, he kind of started all this, man, and um, he's um, he's the man. He's part owners and all that stuff, man. And we should add that, of course, you know, one of them, of course, came with this awesome ring that we got. Right here. From Ringside Exclusives right there. And we're going to go in. I'm going to let Neil explain these right there. Boom, that's a good view. It is a great view. All right, Neil, take it away. So, Unrivaled One Kenny Omega right here. Mm -hmm. The purple, white, he has like a winged angle. Oh, a winged angle. A one winged angel. Um, And he has K. Omega down the side of his leg. Check that out, guys. Um, the head scan, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, okay. pretty good. All right. Um, I'm gonna rate this figure a nine. Gonna go with a nine? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with a nine as well. Okay. I'm so gonna go nine. Okay. Nine okay. All right. One step closer. Okay. We have this awesome one with it coming with the ring. It's a green one this time. Same head scan. Dyed his hair right there on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, he has like a little like snake. Maybe. Right. That and one. He has another one. That one's a very cool one to me. I, I do like that one. It was my favorite. It was my favorite. It was, yeah. Until the next one we're about to show you. But I'm going to rate this nine and a half. Nine and a half for me too, guys. Got to go with Mr. Omega there. 
Mr. Rasmus. Okay. We're about to show you guys the order over there with everything. So, uh, and without further ado, we have one more left down here. Neil's getting this stuff ready over there. We hope you guys have enjoyed this. We've had fun doing this for you. We love it. Love this kind of stuff. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kitty Omega. The Unmatched One. Love the figure. Get it. If you don't get it, I'm watching you really, really Let's good. Let's see, man, man. It, that attire is too cool. Show him off, man. Show him off what he's got going on there. Man, look at that. And the blue his blue hands, blue. too. His his hands. Can you f fix him just a little bit? There you go. Let's, there. Yeah, let's take a look at him. Check that out. I've, I've never seen any figs uh, before this one that I've seen quite like it that came with the hands like that. I think that's super cool. Um, I, he gets a 10 from me. He gets uh, He's a getting 10. a 1 million out of 10. <laughs> he's oh. definitely Okay, if I actually had to do it, a 13 figure. out of 10. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, dude, awesome attire. Yes. Awesome. Awesome attire. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. All right. So that means he has topped the Cody Rhodes. <sighs> so I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Okay. And, guys, we got something to show you, too. And I'll help uh, set that up here shortly. But uh, we're going to come down here, take a quick look. We'll let Neil set him up, and then I'll come right behind him there. Um, okay, so there we go. Perfect. Good job. And as we're going to come down, take a look at everything. That's from least. Going all the way up the line. Get out of the light there. See everybody. All the way down to the very end with Kenny Omega. Go a little bit farther. Come down. There we go, guys. Boom. So here's the top three. Yeah. Two of them are unmatched and one is a um un ringside mm -hmm. exclusive guy. Sweet. So well, guys. That's pretty much it for figure reviews, but I think my dad has to show y'all one more thing, I think. <laughs> We're gonna uh, do something, and I'm gonna set this. So can I put the figures up? Yep. Yeah. Bear with us there. So, comment down below how many figures you think are, we have, or we have, and the person who gets it correct will get a um, pin from us. There we go. Sounds good. That's good. Alright. Or next, like, we can decide. Next, guys, what we're going to do, oh, yeah. we're going to come down here. You guys may, may not, but we sure as heck wanted for a while a cage, sale, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to let you guys know, and I'm going to turn this um, down here, and we're going to unveil it. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil's going to welcome it. The... Sixteen dollar awesome cage. That's right, guys. We we did it. What we've done. Let me set this down. Show it to you. Zoom it down here where everybody can see. Check this out. There it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is what I like to call amazing. We we did it. We finally got it. We set it in there. It actually works with the 22 by 22 authentic scale rings. What we did. Um, it's durable too. Look at this. Very durable. Very durable. Dude. <laughs> but through it. Yeah, it can still go through it. Um, sure. Of course, you know, we left um, this part open so you could play, play with and everything. But as you can see, guys, it fits right up there. Uh, looks good with everything. Um, black, too. Blacked out. Yep. Goes with that. Very nice. Showing you there. Uh, what I did is that I went to Walmart. Yes, Walmart. And I got these little oven inserts. Yes. Uh, they're about, 
Uh, 18 inches long, I believe, something like that, 16 to 18. Uh, they're about 10 inches width and just put a bunch of them together and uh, got some zip ties just painted them black so they didn't stand out white they were white zip ties to begin with but uh if this video hits five likes we'll do a tutorial on how to make it <laughs> so that way you don't have to spend three hundred dollars there you go but guys yeah we just wanted to show that to you uh, we'll we'll tell you just comment man if you want to know there's not a whole lot to making it you know but uh we had fun doing it so anyway, without further ado, Neil, tell them. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below which AEW figure we should get next. See you later. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>